But we'll start off with Prospect. Two teams that right now are in the playoff hunt. Bringing up the team stats. Starting off with the Barbarians. 14-2 and two on the season. Against the Cherried Crepes, which are 9-7. and seven. Vision, what's standing out to you? Big thing that always stands out to me in the lower tiers is the shooting percentage. If you're shooting near 40%, you're going to be massively successful in the prospects here. That's the big thing for me looking at the Sovereign. For the Cherry Crepes, first of all, I have to ask, Ricky Bobby, do you like crepes? And after that, I have to say, <laughs> hey, you have a very tough matchup ahead of you today. 14-2 and two this early in the season. That is called setting yourself up for success. Cherry Crepes are going to have a heated matchup tonight. Hopefully, they can pull a couple games out to kind of even it up. Yeah, as you just said, now let's bring up the player stats, introduce ourselves with who's going to be on the field tonight. For the Cherry Crepes, we're looking at TTV Tan Man, Golden Tiger, Muffin Man, and Chad Thunder. For the Barbarians, we got, I don't know if that's Dill or DYL, someone's going to have to let me know from chat. We got Zippy the Gnome. You know, Vision, these uh, these uh, prospect names are a little tough for me. These are always the best, bro, but I'm telling you, the worst <laughs> is bubble scene players. It's pronounced Dill. Thanks for giving us the pronunciation and not just the name typed again in chat. Love that. By the way, shout out Tan Man. You might have 15 goals this season, but you hit the biggest goal of your life. Shout out to you and your wife. Congratulations on the baby. That's huge. You might be shooting 36% this season, but you're shooting 100% on the kids. So congrats on that. And Dill is definitely going to be an issue shooting 43 percent so far this season 23 goals we're all we're on match day five t sant that's wild yeah that is crazy and on by far the most shots of anyone that's going to be in this lobby that is very impressive dill may be making a run for mvp of the prospect here if they keep playing like that but <laughs> some other big sets to look at i mean look like you said tan man Feeling good just having a kid, you know. Hope everyone gives us some shouts out, shout outs in the chat. 15 goals, too. You know, it could be. The, we're going to be looking at those two going back and forth tonight. Yeah, but Tamman's not playing tonight. So, where is the off oh. of production going to come from the Cherry Crepes? Is my question. You have three players sitting there. Two of them combined don't even have the amount of goals that Tan Man has. So it's going to be very difficult to see where that production is going to come from and how they're going to be able to play. So my key right here is Chad Thunder. You're leading the team in assists so far. You're going to have to step up huge and set up your other two teammates, which have played the most games this season so far. Yeah, those shots are definitely going to have to come from somewhere. But I'm sure they'll be able to find a way. Look, this team, this is a good team. Nine and seven. It's no 14 and two, but... If the Barbarians are taking them lightly, it could it could end up being a rough night for them. I mean, it certainly can. I mean, looking at these stats, obviously, you look at the shooting percentage across the board for the Barbarians. It's kind of out of this world. It's astronomical. It's going to be tough sledding ahead. There's a reason that they're 14 and 2 T-Sant. And so just want to bring that up, of course, with everything else going into it right now. Uh, I mean, with Tan Man, hey, man, maybe they win one. Maybe they pull one out for the kid. You know what I'm saying? I definitely think that is definitely a big factor into it the mental game is going to be so vital obviously it's early in the season but the earlier you set yourself up for success to make that playoff run the more important it is so we're looking at this right now guys you're gonna to have to bear with us for just a minute we're trying to get the last team in the lobby so if you can just give us a second we will be all good on that front as we're doing that t sant obviously these two teams both over 500 both looking pretty strong. Obviously, the Barbarians looking a little bit stronger as well. Looking at this right now, do you have a prediction for this four-game set? Um, well, with the Crepes missing their best player, I'm going to have to go with the Barbarians right now. Um, if they're coming in with their full team, and again, with Dill, who is hotter than fire to start this season off, I I feel good about the Barbarians. I think it'll be a close matchup, though. That Crepes team, they've played a lot of good defense. They've played, I think, looking back to the team stats, I think they had 70 saves on the season so far and only 36 goals again. So they know how to, they know how to defend the net. And the Barbarians are going to have to work around that rock-solid defense the Crepes are putting out. Yeah, my biggest, my biggest issue with... 
quantifying saves as a good measure of defense is if you're playing great defense, shots aren't being allowed on net, right? Like I, that, I know that this is, is, true. Suspect, that is true. I, I, I don't want to harp too hard, of course, but I'm just saying that when you're typically making more saves, it means you don't have pressure, it means you have one back, and they're having to make defense on the goal line instead of taking good 50-50s in the midfield. So I think the whole point for the crepes here is to be aggressive, try to play in front, try to play those 50-50s in your favor in the midfield, and establish that midfield control. Because if you come out slow today, the Barbarians are just going to feast on that. Yeah, they will come in slow. And word from the people in the back, it looks like we should be getting our other team in. Yeah, they have just joined. So it looks like we'll be getting ready to start up. We'll just be waiting for the teams to join into the actual um, get on the field. And we'll be ready to go. Yeah, and I mean, I'm excited. I'm always, obviously, RSC is where I got my start. Much love to everybody here, especially Croc stepping up as the media committee head. We have the players joining the lobby right now. We are ready to get into this four-game set, of course, in between the Cherry Crepes and the 14-2 and two Barbarians. We're bringing it to you right now. Kickoff off the rip, gonna go over to the right side. Nice cheat up by Chat Thunder and the double demo. Gonna leave the net wide open. It's an awkward bounce though, and Muffin Man's not ready for it. Good bump, but Golden Tiger double tap, gonna be just off the net as well. Good pressure right off the rip right now for the Cherry Crepes. Already have one shot on the board. Bit of a double commit gonna come over the side. And 20 seconds in, looking like the Cherry Crepes are establishing possession early. And that's exactly what they want to do. Come in hot, establish yourselves on this field to get the Barbarians playing on their back foot. If they can't shoot, they can't score. It is that simple. And Golden Tiger with an open net was going to put it in. Opening goal for the Cherry Crepes. And that is how you want to start. Nice little dink over here from Muffin Man, of course. Just going to set up Golden Tiger. You see two people. Nobody's on that front post. Yes, it's a great shot. It's great placement. Theoretically, somebody should be already covering that portion of the net to where it's not a problem. But we're going to look at it in the Cherry Crepes. Going for one for the kid, but the kickoff going to go the other way almost immediately right now. Oh, Zippy, you don't have to do him like that, man. They just established a family, that team did. And you're going to sit here, get the pop around, and get another equalizing goal right off the rip. Yeah, great control there in the corner from Zippy. Gets the slight pop, able to keep himself composed on the goal line and puts it in that is a quick equalizer for the barbarians they were not phased by that opening goal whatsoever no they really weren't i mean we're kind of going back and forth obviously early pressure favoring the cherry grapes the barbarians just have the answer right back but this is going to be a bit awkward muffin's going to take a decent 50 50 chad thunder going to turn around on this get beat by dewise it's going to go all the way over to the top this is a high arching ball does zippy the gnome have the read they do Gonna be played over to the side. Zippy, do you have another brother? That is the question. A little bit of a team bump in front. This is gonna be awkward as all sin. And somehow, some way, it doesn't find the back of the net. Yeah, this pressure from the Crepes is looking really good so far. If they keep that up, they're gonna start cashing in these opportunities. We find ourselves in the corner. Zippy trying to get it to a teammate. Pass it off to Dwai. Zippy's there for the shot. Zippy with a great read off the back wall. And that'll be 2-1 in favor of the Barbarians. But, and what a passing play out here in Prospect. Also, look, all I'm saying is if you're not tripling, you're not trying. Because all three members of Barbarians were just hunting that ball down in front of the net. Great job by Zippy to get around on it. Get the read. Dwai's getting the assist. And right now we're looking at a 2-1 game. This is where I really feel kind of that breaking point is, right? I know it's early to say that, but when you're going up against Goliath, quite literally, you have to find a way to find goals. And right now, that's a great shot by Chad Thunder, unfortunately going to be turned away. I like still what I'm seeing, of course, out of the Cherry Crepes. It's just a little bit difficult to really get behind them, but nobody's going to pressure this ball right now. And it finally comes through. Zippy's going to get a massive clear downfield. And honestly, it looks like the pace is starting to shift just a slight bit. That's a great bump on the backside. That almost went into the net. Unfortunately, it didn't. And Feudon is just going to pop that high off of the corner. And DeWise is going to have an answer immediately to keep this in the blue half. Yup, and a huge demo on the back line there. Zippy almost gets the shot. Golden Tiger is going to be there for the save. But as you said, the pressure started. Ooh. Oh my goodness, Golden Tiger. Wow, what a redirect. 80 miles an hour. All highlight of the week for prospect do you get any better than that i don't think you do i don't think you do and i know stumpy and cole would be proud of the doink action right there 80 miles an hour off the top of the hood beautiful redirect gonna send it in and tie this game up 
A nice little counter attack happening right there. Golden Tiger's gonna be awkward here there. Fudan's already up and the demo again on the backside, that pressure that's coming through. Sippy has a double tap opportunity, has the touch, but Muffin Man gonna be able to cut it out coming over to the right hand side. Not much to find. Dewey is just gonna pop this up high. Doesn't have a lot of boost to work with. Little pre-flip action gonna be taken right off the hood, but Zippy's all the way back, just patient, you know? With 222 left with 2-2 on the board. I like what I'm seeing out of both these teams and Chat Thunder has a great opportunity. Gonna be cut off by Dewey's again. Yeah, this game is looking really even so far. Both teams putting a lot of pressure on each other, getting some good shots. You know, we talked about who's going to take over scoring for the Crepes. Golden Tigers doing a great job so far. Has both their goals, has been part of a lot of good attacks. Muffin Man putting it into the corners. Wise doesn't have any boost here, though. Can't get that second touch. Golden Tiger with one. Golden Tiger going for the 50. Great defense from Zippy there, who looks to move it down the field now. Muffin Man, great attacking the ball. Dwise can't get there. Golden Tiger just misses the shot. And the Crepes have had opportunity after opportunity. They're not putting them in, though. We stay 2 2, Vision. As we stay 2 2, though, Dwise is going to be just listering in the backfield. Here's an opportunity once again for Chat Thunder to cut this off. Good pass to the midfield. Dwise, inherently awkward right now, going to get a touch on the ball. Gonna throw this one away. There's Chat Thunder actually juking his teammate out right there as well. Not a great touch. Dewise has a good read. Looking for potentially another one. Gets a bump. Muffin Man not able to get this one far off, but get it, able to get it over enough so Golden Tiger could at least get a touch. Zippy versus Golden. It's gonna be Zippy Tiger winning that. Awkward redirect. Chat Thunder has to play this back to the corner. If you want pressure, this is where you find it. There's a shot on that. Muffin Man, can you oh. make the save? It's so close, but no cigar. Muffin Man gets the hood on it. Unfortunately, not able to redirect it out of the net. It's going to be three to two right here. That is such a great effort. Just doesn't get the post bounce they want. So close indeed. And Barbarians now taking their first lead of the game. Was it the first lead or they already have a 2-1? It doesn't matter. They got the lead now, and they're going to look to continue that pressure. And, uh oh, some confusion on the back line? No. They'll be able to clear it out. We got 45 seconds remaining. Are the Crepes going to be able to answer? Muffin Man with a good touch towards net. Golden Tigers not going to read Muffin Man with a shot. Muffin Man and Zippy is going to get a great save to keep the lead for the Barbarians. Over to, who was that? Snyder into the corner now. We're counting down. But the Crepes are still pressing a shot from Muffin Man, but it just can't find the back of the net. Zippy with a breakaway now gets the flick and a crossbar down. What a shot from Zippy. And Barbarians with 15 seconds get insurance against the Crepes here in game number one. Look, I don't like to quote other games when I'm when I'm casting Rocket League, but that bounce is a little bit sussy. You, you hit the exact shank of the post and the crossbar where they combine to be able to pull that out. And right now, needing two and chasing it. Muffin Man trying to get a touch. Golden Tiger has an opportunity of a lifetime right here. He's going to put it in. Don't count them out yet. The cherry crepes are delicious and they're here to stay. Yeah, and that was a great kickoff. Exactly what you need. And then a great read by Golden Tiger, putting it where it is unsavable. Golden Tiger having themselves a game so far. Three goals on four shots, but they're going to need one more if they want a chance at winning game one. The kickoff not favorable for the Crepes in their corner. They're going to have to go the length of the field. Muffin Man puts it over to Tiger. Tiger's got to get there. Cannot. It touches the ground. And an exciting game one here in Prospect. Barbarians getting the win in the last minute. What a game from Zippy. Three goals on four shots. Barbarians looked great. I mean, the crepes look great too. It looks like we're in, we got a series here, Vision. I mean, when you're nine and seven, you're trying to establish yourself as one of those top contenders, right? These are the matchups that matter the most, right? You're going up against a 14-2 team. You want to be able to go ahead and make that statement. And right here, even though they don't get the win, showing that they're neck and neck with the Barbarians like that, I think is huge. On top of that, Golden Tiger getting three of their own, including that nasty redirect, which might be play of the week for prospects so far. Definitely love seeing that. I need to see the Cherry Crepes just have a entire game of established dominance. Also, some really, really costly double commits came out when the ball was in front of the net um, when they were about to score, right? We saw two triples in that end, and it made it really difficult on the defensive end. Now, it didn't give up the goal, they were able to stop it on the goal line. The fact of the matter is, though, whenever you have that in front of you, that sustained pressure, the Barbarians are going to find a way to score, and that's the reason they have one more goal this game.
Well said. And one thing I did want to note, though, that the Crepes can look forward to. They outshot the Barbarians 8-5 to five in game number one. When you're normally getting more shots on net, that is a good sign. It leads to more success. You're not going to win every single time that happens, but it definitely increases your chances. I'm thinking if I'm the Crepes, I want to run that same game plan. They looked really good and starting game two off here. We find ourselves once again in the orange corner. Deja vu, but Dwyce doesn't want to see the first goal go to the Crepes this time. Sends it long. Zippy's there. Gets one touch. Goes for the second. A great 50 on the goal line. But Golden Tiger is equal with the save. And we remain scoreless. Golden Tiger now trying to take it downfield. Dwyce with a great couple of reads off the wall there. But it goes right to Muffin Man. Who wants to continue this press from the Crepes. The rotations are looking good. They're looking crisp. Although that ball goes high. Dwyce is up. Onto the other side. Both teams trying to establish themselves here in game number one or game yeah. number two excuse me yeah, a lot of back and forth right now it's a great little pop by golden tiger to beat one dewa is going to play that back into the corner very high pop right here chat thunder getting just bullied out of the way and dewa has a high pop is this when we see the prospects peak putting a shot on net going to be saved by golden tiger a little bit of a double commit though going to put chat total or chat thunder out of position Golden tiger's actually going to follow this and hit it back to chat thunder is that calculated chat thunder with the dribble the slow play not going to find anything but muffin man is there to play this over to the corner get bumped out of the way this is going to be a dangerous touch though right in front of the box and zippy's going to be able to get it away and you know it's a lot of ping pong right now a lot of back and forth nothing to really be worried about just yet until that pop right there but the is not able to use his boost to get on top of that unfortunately a little bit of a double commit going to leave this open and a great stop right there of course by the cherry crepes to keep this out of the net right now back and forth we go and we're in the orange corner once again in the orange corner once again but the Crepes yet to register a shot so far this game. They're going to need to change that. Chad Thunder was going for one. Couldn't get the touch. Muffin Man now on the ball. A good 50 in the orange half there. Golden Tiger keeps the offense going. Golden Tiger with a shot. Zippy with a great save. And that clear goes long. Dwise with a shot on net. Muffin Man's going to get the save. Keep this a scoreless game. Shots coming out from both teams now. Some dangerous opportunities. Snyder with the shot, Chad Thunder with the save, and we remain scoreless a couple times. I thought for sure we'd get a goal, but no. Muffin Man moving down the field, trying to get something going for the Crepes. Golden Tiger's there, but Snyder's all over it. Muffin Man now with the shot, Golden Tiger trying to get another crazy redirect. Halfway vision, we remain scoreless here in game number two. Had to quote good old-fashioned Bon Jovi, we're halfway there, and both teams right now living on that prayer, trying to make it through. Is Snyder going to pop that one up high? DeWise actually going to hit the backflip on that one, get out. I actually think that's a great decision right there. It might have been accidental, but it put him in a much better position to deal with that. As Zippy is up on this, going to get a touch. It's going to be awkward, going to run out of boost as well, but somehow falls into it. Hits the Buzz Lightyear. It's not flying. It's falling with style. And he's able to get that away. Is Chat Thunder going to pinch this one backwards? Muffin Man luckily going to be there. A little bit of a redirect. Going to be a little bit awkward for everybody involved here. And it's just Whifty Whifties all over the place in the midfield until Golden Tiger finally connects over here sending it off to the side zippy's gonna have a lot of space on the sidewall to work with just skedaddles it out to the corner and muffin man just gonna keep this straight lateral chat thunder doesn't have to read either awkward bounce to is gonna pop this one up high there is a good block by golden tiger it's double commit coming out on the other side as well but muffin man not really able to push this one downfield enough to be too dangerous or maybe he can is it gonna be around zippy no zippy with another safety sam yeah, and we're starting to notice it's a lot of back and forth between these two teams right now. They are looking especially even. If one team's able to maybe take control of the midfield, get some extra boost, they that could be all it takes. We're nearing a minute now. Four minutes of scoreless action. Golden Tiger with a shot, maybe. Zippy is going to clear it. It wasn't on target anyways. Muffin Man got some space. Is going to get it over Snyder. This ball could be dangerous. Twice has to get a touch on it. Does. Tries to get it to safety. That ball is high now. Zippy and Muffin Man racing to it. Muffin Man going to get a good 50 off the ceiling. But the Crepes, they backed off. They opted for boost and are playing it safe. 45 seconds remaining now. Muffin Man flying in for the shot. But just cannot create contact with the ball. Golden Tiger now. Now this is some sustained Crepes offense here. That ball could be dangerous. But once again, they just don't have somebody in the right spot at the right time. Chad Thunder now off the center. That could be in the net. It is in the net. 
just like that and the crepes have taken a one nothing lead 25 seconds remaining and that is just a great read and a great shot by chad thunder off the wall i mean apparently chad thunder just majored in geometry right there because off the ceiling straight into the net definitely a good shot a good way to keep pressure and that's the key to success right now for the cherry crepes is continuing that on and it's going to be another great dunk by chat thunder better pinch by device to get this out to the corner but only 15 seconds worth with going to be tough sledding ahead as this one goes all the way across the pitch we're gonna have chat thunder just sitting here being patient waiting on it gonna pop it up high probably needs a second touch Budan not able to get one there. Zippy going to get a pop over one. Muffin Man going to try to clear this out. DeWise is there, but you have to keep this ball up. We're at extracurricular activity right now. It's going to fall, and the Cherry Crepes are going to take game number two. And what a game number two it was. Back and forth were the two teams going, but towards the end of that game, the Cherry Crepes, they just started building offense more and more on the barbarians and they couldn't handle it uh, you look at the shot difference that's two games in a row now the crepes have outshot the barbarians this time seven to four and snyder's left the match we could be looking at a sub here in game number three vision i mean you're gonna bring in daddy dill is that is that how this is going right now like I mean, he was the leading goal scorer, of course, for the Barbarians. You missed him for the first two games. Maybe you're running a rotation. Maybe you want to make sure that everybody is coming in. And it is going to be Dill stepping in for the Barbarians in favor of Fudan Snyder. So definitely interesting to see this happen. Let's see what this Barbarians offense looks like with Dill in tow as well. And I think that's definitely the right move for the Barbarians. Um, as I said, they've been outshot both games so far. And... Dill has taken a lot of shots on net so far this season. Got a lot of goals for it. They're, they're going to bring a definitely a new element to this Barbarians attack. And the Crepes, they're going to keep doing what they're doing. They've been looking really solid. I doubt they're changing the game plan too much here. Now, favorable kickoff. Golden Tiger's going to put it in right away. Three seconds is all it took. And that is another first goal for the Crepes. Perfect kill kickoff right there by Chad Thunder is going to set up Golden Tiger right there for the quick one on the heavy cheat. And it's something that's not utilized enough in Rocket League is that cheat up. If you trust the person taking the kickoff, you can take advantage of that situation and take advantage. They did was the Cherry Crepes. Is Zippy going to be able to get it over one 69 boost to their name? Hey, oh, as this comes into the corner, Golden Tiger with a great read. It's going to be Dill riding solo on this Chad, just pre jumping the absolute daylight out of him gonna be able to get that one away golden tiger off the corner chat thunder trying to make a read not gonna happen now it's gonna be a 2v1 golden tiger cuts that off over to the corner at 431 remaining right now as dill tries to get a cheeky shot on net gonna be saved up by golden tiger here's another one gonna be just high but everybody and their mother is awkward on the defensive side right now for the cherry craves but nobody is there in time to follow up that ball in the corner and even though the pressure sustains it doesn't look like there's enough right now to prevent the clear and in fact it goes does go all the way down the pitch yeah, Dill trying to get something going for the Barbarians, but we haven't seen that sub make any big noise yet. We'll see if it's coming. One thing to know, Dill could be coming in a little cold, not playing for the past couple of games. That's a decent amount of time on the bench, you know, and especially playing on the stream match. You know, you had scrims a long time ago. Coming in cold could not be easy, but we're seeing some sustained pressure here in the blue half. Dwyer's putting it center, but there's nobody there for the shot, except Zippy's coming out of nowhere. Muffin Man's gonna get the save. Deal now off the backboard, Zippy's up. Zippy trying to get a shot on net, can't make contact. Chad Thunder now, moving it the other way. Almost gets the shot, Dwyer just sneaks it out from under. Going for the muscly off the wall, doesn't make contact. Muffin Man tried to take over. Gonna challenge Dill on the sidewall, who has no boost. And we stay 1-0 here with the Crepes. I would say, once again, another very even game between these two teams. That ball could be dangerous, though. Chad Thunder meets Dill in the air. Golden Tiger doesn't make contact. Muffin Man has to get in front of the ball and does. Golden Tiger's got space, leaves it for Chad Thunder. Dill with boost. Gets one off the backboard. Looks for a teammate twice, decides to back off and leaves it for Zippy. Both teams going at each other and a beautiful slot from Chad Thundervision to make it 2-0 in favor of the Crepes.
And Dewise a little bit off where there. Zippy doesn't get the touch that they're looking for after grabbing that boost. And that is just a massive dunk right there by Chad Thunder. Going to be able to put him up 2-0. And that's the breathing room you like to see. You're going against a 14-2 team. 14-2 team. You need to be able to get those cushion goals. And cushion goals they have right now with two in the back pocket with half a game to go. Got to feel good about that, especially with how your defense has held up so far. And Chad Thunder chad you're gonna get this dunk it was close golden tiger has an opportunity right here just gonna take a pot shot at net unfortunately going to be wide a little bit of a miss there back pass over to the muffin man great back pass right there to retain possession definitely not something you see every day out of prospect teams love to see that as this one's gonna be coming over the top here's the wise just off target that bounce is gonna be high as well it's gonna be nice and awkward for everyone involved dill's gonna have to be last back trying to play this again in the corner Dwyer's putting a shot on net. Chat Thunder and Muffin Man both committing off of the post and crossbar. And that one does not get the friendly bounce. Going to put us still at 2-0. Luckily enough with 156 to go. Yeah, and the Barbarians are going to have to look to make a little more big passing plays maybe. And the offense gets something going. Maybe bring out, you know, some demos, switch things up. Because right now they've had some opportunities. For the most part, this game's been all crepes. Golden Tiger with a huge 50 out of the corner. Goes for the shot on net and just off the post. It's going to bounce high. That ball is going to be real difficult for the defense. Dwight gets it past one blue player. Can't get it past the second. Zippy and Golden going with a 50. Zippy's going to win that. But it's not going to yield any results for the Barbarians. We are counting down a minute remaining. The Barbarians got to get something going soon. And Zippy is going to get it going indeed. A huge shot right into the back of the net. Makes it a one goal game with plenty of time to tie it up. Magnificent shot right there by Zippy. But that's why you build a two goal lead in the first place. So Cherry Crepe still looking at a good spot right now. Good sheet up once again. This one's going to be on target just wide. Zippy's accidentally going to backflip, try to chase this one down, but it's going to be Chad Thunder sending it off to the side, getting the second touch as well away from one. Dill's already up. There's a demo on the backside from Golden Tiger. This one's heading the opposite way. Chad Thunder, do you have the redirect? He's there. Shot on target. Zippy's able to get it away. Muffin Man with the shot as well. Dill's going to get the save. This is going to be past Chad, but it's going to be played just patiently into the corner right now as Golden Tiger hits that one up. Dill going off the ceiling, looking for anything. Can't find it through Golden Tiger, who has been the stalwart so far for the Cherry Crepes. We've got 30 seconds remaining. A lot of pressure right now on the end of the Crepes. They're looking strong. It's going to be a shot on net. Look at two of them in net. One on the front post, one on the back post. Perfect rotation. Going to try to solidify this game with 20 seconds to go. And we're counting down. That ball could be dangerous. But Chad Thunder with a big clear. 10 seconds now. Barbarians, they need this attack to go their way. Zippy trying to cause some danger in the air. And off the post, Chad Thunder's going to get the save. And that could save this game for the Crepes. And it does. What an ending there in the past couple of seconds. I thought that was for sure going into the back of the net. Chad Thunder, though, with other ideas. And Cherry Crepes now taking a 2-1 lead here. In this four-game set, they have looked fantastic tonight records not meaning anything to them i definitely love to see that and just a fun note right uh first two games cherry crepes did outshoot the barbarians this game barbarians actually outshoot the cherry crepes seven to five and guess what it still remains victory in favor of the cherry crepes they've won pretty they've won ugly you have one more game to go ahead and try to make this quite honestly a huge swing as far as the playoff contention goes. If you can come out and you can be 13 and eight and you can stay, basically take the barbarians down a peg and knock them down to just 15 and 15 and five, uh, you've already kind of solidified yourself as one of those contenders. I think the cherry crepes coming out, doing it for the baby. Love to see it right now. This is a great matchup. I can't wait to see game number four. Yeah, they have looked great, but Big thing to look at in game four now. Dill got the warm-up game out of the way. Is not looking to lose this series. We'll be playing extra fierce, probably extra fast. We count down now. It's game number four. It's Golden Tiger and Dill off the kickoff. And Golden Tiger with what looked like a nice slow kickoff there. Switching things up. Every game we've started in the orange half here. 
but it won't last for long over towards golden tiger who was trying to get it over to muffin man couldn't get enough pace on the ball zippy puts it center golden tiger with a huge dunk on dill gonna send it deep into the orange half dwise taking it off the wall muffin man with a great challenge chad thunder now starting to build that pressure for the crepes They've been doing a great job of that in each game this series. The sustained pressure each time it is reaped benefits. And Golden Tiger now, who has been on fire with the goal scoring, going to be the beneficiary again of what was a beautiful challenge against two orange players, it looks like. It was against two orange players, and we're hitting the air 404. Defense not found. Why is the net not covered, my boys? You got to be better. You gotta be better. You're 14 and two. You can't let them do you like that off the double commit. We're gonna see Zippy going for a little double tap action here. Gonna be a high. This shot's gonna be just wide. And Dewey's not gonna be able to put that one in as well. Muffin Man gonna clear this out to the side. Dewey's actually gonna take a touch. Trying to get this over to Zippy. It's massively awkward. Another dunk coming out from Muffin Man. Not able to find much there. Shad Thunder gonna be taken off of that ball. A little double commit once again, honestly. It's been very awkward so far with this uh, with this installation of Dill, who is obviously one of the star players of the Barbarians. They really haven't found their footing rotation-wise. Still's able to get this one away, but t -Sin, I think that's going to be something to look at in the future, seeing a lot more double commits out of the Barbarians right now than we did in previous games. Yeah, I completely agree. And one thing that you're talking about, you know, the rotations haven't looked good, it's led to the Crepes really taking control of the midfield. No, when we see the Barbarians get in the blue half, it's been generally short visits. Not a lot of extended pressure like the Crepes. Dwy is trying to change that, but oh, a big challenge on Golden Tiger. That could be dangerous. Muffin Man, who's going to put it safely in the corner. Dill with a great fake on Golden Tiger. That ball is going towards an open net, though. The orange defense just caught out Muffin Man, making it a two-goal lead for the Crepes. And the Barbarians, they are looking on the, they're on their back foot right now. The Crepes are taking it to them. Certainly are. I mean, you say it's a great fake, right? But when you don't have anybody in defense and your last back, faking it may not be your best proposition. It's just a wifty wifty in the midfield. Golden Tiger going to be able to get this one away. And essentially, all, all the Cherry Crepes have to do at this point is just kind of play keep away. That is a massive pinch towards the net. Going to be just high as well off of DeWise's car. Dill's gonna be oh here comes the triple commit baby love to see it everybody in the air right now for the barbarians but chad can't make contact with the ball here's golden tiger trying to get it over to chad has the angle this one's gonna be down in front dill with a dribble gonna get dunked on straight down this ball goes and dewey's gonna be able to get it away muffin man with a pop-up maybe looking for the back pass gonna get it over the top of chad thunder but it's gonna be a good clear once again by golden tiger it's gonna be beat up by dill but shot not on target it's a bit awkward right now as well as the 50 50 comes out in the midfield I do want to commend right now the Cherry Crepes just for being there on the 50-50s, just putting enough pressure to where it's not really an issue at all. That's a great cut for Zippy. This ball should be right in the back of the net, and it is. Again, nobody back on defense. Zippy just going to take this one. Look at this inside cut to beat Muffin Man, and he's staring down the barrel of a wide open net, and he ain't going to miss those. Yeah, the Crepes taking some defensive notes from the Barbarians with the open nets. Those aren't the notes you want to take. Now we look down to a 2-1 lead. We're counting down two minutes to go. Muffin Man plays it into the corner. Zippy's all over that, though. Chad Thunder into the corner. Dwise is all over it this time. Barbarian's trying to extend that offensive attack. But we're slowly moving back into the orange half. Golden Tiger is there for the shot. No, Dwise is going to get a big clear. 140 now. Dwise over to dill but just off the post we remain 2-1 lead for the crepes and i thought that was for sure the game tire and that's gotta hurt for the barbarians who are looking to salvage this series vision they certainly are trying to get a 2-2 out of this zippy with a fake over the top can golden save it no zippy the gnome with a phenomenal solo play able to beat out two and tie this game up Hey, uh, you know, we were talking about highlight of the week in prospect with Golden Tigers redirect. Zippy putting one in himself wants that award. 2-2 two, two now. And maybe that'll bring some new life to the Barbarians. 
Muffin Man doesn't want to see any of it, though. Off the corner over to Golden Tiger. He's going to get a shot. Gets past one defender. Zippy is going to clear. Off the wall now. Zippy going for another highlight play. Gets the second touch. Chad Thunder is going to get a big save, though. Under one minute remaining. You feel the momentum shifting a little bit. Is it going to keep going in favor of the Barbarians? Deal with a big challenge and a big demo. Dwise is there now, but gets interrupted. That's into the midfield. Zippy gets one. He's trying to meet Golden Tiger. He's going to bump Zippy off of it. That's a big 50 in the corner. Zippy now with a pass, but it's not shootable. On to 30 seconds, Vision. We're still tied. Anyone can take this. Yeah, but the Barbarians looking good. A lot of pressure coming in right now. Zippy puts a shot on net. Going to be just denied. Is this going to come over the other side? Zippy with a little fake right there. Muffin Man looking to beat one out. This is going to be down in front. Chat Thunder able to get that one away. Golden Tiger chasing this one down. Zippy's going to beat him out, but it's going to be down in front. Chad, 50-50 out to the corner. Looking for another touch. Here's the opportunity. Golden Tiger can't sign it through Zippy. We go to overtime in game number four. And the Barbarian's hearts must have dropped for a second. Because I thought for sure that was a game winner. Instead now, overtime. And the next goal wins it. Dill trying to make it happen. Can't. Zippy trying to make it happen. Can't. That ball's high and dangerous. Dwight's is there. Dwight's with a shot off the crossbar. It's just a little bit high. The Crepes live to see another day. Muffin Man has space on the other side. Doesn't get the touch in the corner. Barely misses. We move back into the blue half. Both teams looking to take over this overtime. And go home feeling good. Muffin Man now. Taking that away from Dwyer's before they even get a chance. Zippy. Tries to clear it out. Golden Tigers there. We're seeing some of this crepes pressure coming out again. They've had some really good rotations tonight. Those rotations have led to a lot of good pressure. Chad Thunder now. Off the backboard just to get the second touch. Muffin Man with the shot. Zippy is there for the save though. Now Golden Tiger towards that deal with the save. And that is some huge defense from the Barbarians. It's going to lead to an offensive opportunity and a big demo. Back and forth these teams go taking their shots. No one getting the goal yet. Vision, we keep going here in overtime a minute and a half in. Had a minute and a half so far. Muffin Man looking to get this towards the far post. Going to be cut off by Dill almost immediately. He's Golden Tiger going to get a nice little bump here on the sidewall. The DeWise going to get one touch. Here's Dill trying to get that on target. Not going to be able to find it. Golden Tiger with the great 50-50. Might catch out Zippy. This is an opportunity. Muffin Man, can you put it in? You can. The Cherry Crepes are going to take the four game set three to one. Mind you, they have more than doubled the L's that the Barbarians have taken all season. Yeah, what a show out from the crepes. GG's to both teams. It was uh, it was four very close games. But the crepes, I mean, they just came out swinging left and right. They weren't worried about the record. They weren't worried about the shot difference. The goal difference is nothing. They played their game and looked fantastic doing it. Yeah, you talk about playing their game. They just came out and they kind of took what we said to heart pregame, I guess. I mean, looking at it, right? They took control of the midfield. Three out of the four games, they put on more shots and that's how it ends up looking. I mean, they just came out looking to establish dominance, do it for the baby. They did. And the Barbarians, apparently, according to chat, do not hate kids now because they lost. So I think it's good for everybody involved, to be honest with you. <laughs>